I'm John Barnes, and this is how I did this. We're here at the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. I recently had the opportunity to travel and attend the 2023 Sundance Film Festival and interview actors and celebrities like Will Ferrell, Ben Platt, and Thomas and McKenzie, all for Student Reporting Labs. How did I secure this amazing opportunity? Let me tell you. Here are the steps I took to cover and attend Sundance. In September of last year, I was looking for film opportunities and I noticed that the Sundance Film Festival was coming up in January. I looked at their website and noticed that there was a November 1st deadline to apply for a press pass. This pass granted me access to interview actors on the red carpets of film premieres and also attend press and industry world premiere film screenings. Next, I wrote a pitch to PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs. Now, I had already completed two fellowships with SRL along with a freelance video, so I asked a producer I'd worked with to help assist me with writing my pitch. I wrote in detail about what themes I wanted to cover at the festival, including the types of content I would produce like Instagram reels and TikToks for SRL. The press application for Sundance also required an assignment letter, so I had to ask SRL if they could write me one. An assignment letter is essentially a letter from a news outlet to an organization or an event outlining what a reporter will be covering at the event. With my assignment letter and pitch in hand, I sent those materials to the Sundance press office, and a few weeks later, I was approved for accreditation. However, I still had a lot of planning to do. A lot of universities have travel and research grants. Since I knew attending Sundance would be very expensive, I applied for a research grant, and I attached my pitch, assignment letter, and press accreditation from Sundance all on my application for a grant. I also wrote out a detailed budget that include lodging, food, travel, Ubers, anything that I would spend money on was included in that budget. I had attempted to plan out the perfect schedule for my time at Sundance about a month before. Unfortunately, they don't provide a lot of details until around the week before the festival. Thankfully, however, they started announcing red carpet events in the film lineup in the weeks before the festival. My biggest takeaway about planning coverage for festivals is to go with the flow. You should do your best to plan, but be prepared for changes at any minute. I enlisted the help of two students to help me for my festival interviews on Friday and Saturday, and their names were Matilda and CJ. Having a constant camera operator gave me the ability to solely focus on my interviews. Another takeaway I found from covering press lines and red carpet premieres is that you really do have limited time with your subject. It ranges from one to three minutes, and you can usually only ask around one to three questions. I gotta say, it was the experience of a lifetime to interview actors and celebrities that I've admired my whole life. I edited around half of my footage while at the festival, and then the rest of the footage in the coming days after the festival. I was a little worried to wait too long to release some content, but I noticed that some bigger outlets waited a few days or even weeks after the festival had ended to post their content, so there really is no right or wrong way. The short format nature of TikTok and Instagram Reels really allowed me to publish and release my content much quicker than usual. Overall, attending the Sundance Film Festival as a journalist was a life-changing experience. Although the planning process was a little daunting, the experience of attending press events made the entire process worthwhile. Hi, I'm John. If you're thinking of doing something similar, I encourage you to look at your school's resources and see what's possible. Who knows, maybe you'll be flying across the country as a journalist in just a few short months. I'm John Barnes for Student Reporting Labs, and thank you for watching.